In today's video, I am going to be breaking down one of the Raptors' newest players, Quincy Guerrier, and how he's able to play. There's a lot of things that he does extremely well that you can do as well on the court. So let's get down, let's check him out. Really quickly, if you want to be able to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out the shooting workout that is down in the description below. Okay, so in this first clip, Guerrier is cutting up to the point one of the things that i really want you to look at is his footwork because it's actually pretty good even though he fumbles the, the ball once he receives that ball and he fumbles it watch how he's able to work his feet he's able to plant his left foot and then he brings his right foot in everything is in line his shoulders his hips his knees his feet everything is in line even though they're not pointing towards the rim they're all pointing in the exact same direction which is exactly what you want to do on your shot he also brings that ball up the middle of his body and he, that way he's able to get his shoulder and elbow and ball all in line with the rim which is that shooting triangle i always talk about and then he has a nice high release with the elbow above the head this is a very nice shot which means that he's going to be a very accurate shooter going into the nba and then what he does off ball is really good even though that he doesn't move all that much in this clip he's essentially in the dunker spot his man right here who is the help defender essentially is going to be stuck on a drive right here we have or they have a player who is now getting put into a two-on-one situation and then what does Gurrier do right here he puts his hand up he may be calling for the ball who knows can't see from this far away and there's obviously no audio from this distance however that hand up tells his teammate to send the lob pass so that he is able to get that alley-oop dunk now while you may say well i can't do an alley-oop dunk you can still get that ball land and then go back up or you can do the alley-oop layup either way it's better to do some kind of an alley-oop in this circumstance because you've got a defender here who is dropping down who would then be there if you were to land and go straight back up this is why vertical jump ability is very important make sure to go check out my vertical jump training book that is down in the description below as well and for those coaches out there this is a fantastic play that you can run it's a three out two in offense it's very simple what you're doing is a dribble handoff on one of the corners this man is going to use that dribble handoff and attack the basket which is going to lift up that defender to guard you at that time it's putting these two players here in a two on one one situation where all you need to do as we can see right here coming off of that dribble handoff when he attacks he draws up that far side defender he actually kind of gets frozen but if he was to help out then this would be an extra pass here however that rarely happens which just means that it's going to be an alley-oop dunk in th at this level anyways otherwise what you would be looking at if you were younger is a bounce pass and a layup now watch this play. They've essentially set up three on one side, and which is basically a triangle offense. Man drives down the middle. That's leaving Gurrier wide open on that left side of the screen. So when his man attacks, guess what happens? Usually defenders will make the mistake and they'll play too low. This is a very open shot for Gurrier, but what makes it even better is he lifts towards the wing. This gives a better passing angle for his teammate, but also most players like to shoot from the wing. Let's just face it. So by lifting up to the wing, having his hand up, that was perfect. And then he was also ready to shoot so that he's able to go into his shot. And I really like his form. Now, coming from this angle, I really want to show you how you can deal with players like defenders like this guy who will try to defend you with their arms slightly over top of you like this. Now, we have to remember, especially in FIBA, that you have your own player cylinder. If somebody is inside of your player cylinder, if you make or if the ball makes contact with their arm first, it's not generally a foul to most referees. However, if you can go up with your upper arm going into the armpit of their body, which will allow them, or at least allow you to remove this arm from your space, you are going to be able to get yourself some easy and ones, exactly as we see right there. Now, this is kind of a good example as to why you should never give up on a defensive or even an offensive rebound. But what we can see right here is they go up for the alley-oop, he misses it. Now, it's a loose ball. They're going to keep on tipping it up and down. The ability to have very springy legs 
So players who do a lot of vertical jump training, really focusing on the Achilles and really focusing on the calf will allow them to be able to be springy and get up as fast as possible so that they can get that rebound. But what makes it even better is the fact that he doesn't take a dribble. He just outlets right away to the outlet player. This is exactly what you want to do. Outlet quick, outlet down middle to this man, and you're now on a fast break. This is picture perfect. And now watch this next play right here. They have a cut through from the wing, which is which is great. But now Quincy's man is double teaming, technically almost triple teaming the ball handler. When that happens, he cuts back door, which is absolutely perfect. You're reading defenses. And by reading defenses, that's going to get you some open dunks. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. Make sure to go check out my vertical jump training book and my shooting workout that is down in the description below. And I will see you guys again in my next video.